Hello world. It's been a minute. Um I am recording this as a voice message instead of a video as I am crying and I don't really want that on camera. <laughs> Um, but I just wanted to talk about a feeling. Um, so I really like the show Euphoria, and in the first episode, Rue talks about how. When the drugs hit her, they're about two seconds in which she feels absolutely nothing. Everything just melts away. There's no breathing, there's no sound, just pure nothingness. And then in two, and then when those seconds are up, she breathes everything back into reality. And suddenly all those feelings come rushing back. <sighs> they all are given life again. And I bring this up because it just kind of happened to me. I just got home about 30 minutes ago. I laid down on my bed. And slowly everything within my body shut down first my legs then my arms then my hands and then my head and as it got to my hands I tried to tell Jordan to leave to just go to not worry cause I felt myself shutting down and I didn't I didn't want him to have to hear the deafening silence that comes from when I shut down. When it gets to my head, then I'll just stop talking. And I'll just feel the tears streaming down my face as I lay there, feeling nothing but numbingness. Pain completely consuming me, taking over every part of me. <laughs> and I can't feel it. I just feel the tears streaming down my face. <sighs> but then my foot twitched. And I kind of came back too. And I turned over. And I looked at my Snapchat. And I looked at my friends talking. About studying. And that Tyler's. Senior thesis was approved. And then it was one breath. <laughs> the feelings came rushing back to me. <sighs> and I started to care once more of if my disappearance, of how much my disappearance would hurt the people I care about. Hurt. You hurt them. You know how devastating that would be if I just left, if I just died. 
<laughs> it scared me. <laughs> just scared me. And I'm, I'm so, I'm so glad that I was only for a couple minutes where I didn't feel anything. I'm really scared back. <laughs> and then I'm crying uncontrollably. Instead of just those empty tears streaming down my face. Cause I don't, I don't, I don't care if the nothingness that drugs or alcohol or whatever the fuck bring is like the greatest feeling in the world. I, I, I like feeling things. I like feeling things. I like caring about myself. I like wanting to take care of myself. I like wanting to be alive. I want to be alive. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. And it scares me, it scares me so much. Oh gosh. And sometimes, even for a minute, I'm so paralyzed that my body will just shut down. And all, all I want to do and all I think, you know, like you pay attention to is the fact that I should just end it all. <sighs> it's so terrifying. I mean, it's better that I deal with it instead of doing what I did in high school, which is ignoring it. But it's still... Still scares the fuck out of me. <laughs> Cause I wanna live. I wanna live. I wanna see my f- movies on screen. I wanna have kids. <laughs> I wanna grow up with you. Be able to have a family. To be stable enough to have a partner. I want to grow up. I don't want to die. I'm feeling like a sad little kid who lost her mommy. I want to grow up. I just need to keep going. And I need, and I just need somehow, some way to just pull myself out of those low points. Even if it's just by a fucking finger now, I just need to pull myself out. I saw Jack with the word to live. I don't want to go to heaven and tell my mom that I gave up. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I want to... I want to live. I want to fucking live. Please, God. Just keep me allow me to have the world to fucking live. <laughs> Not for anyone else. For myself. Allow me to have the will to live for myself.